Hey guys, so I do not have a video for today because like, <laughs> I mean, obviously I do because I'm gonna post this one, but I just woke up literally today and I'm gonna post it on the same day. So what I might do for this video is an update on my new greenhouse and, oh, the light is peeking through, I mean the sunset, sunrise, oh my God, I haven't had my coffee yet and I'm trying not to drink coffee. So don't be so hard on me because I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> so I guess I, I guess we can do like a mini greenhouse update slash tour um as you guys noticed before i had it in that little um wannabe greenhouse i don't know how you want to call it and i ended up purchasing this one at walmart it was for 350 but i paid 171 it was like i had a discount so i was like oh my god and i paid for it and then three days later it came in it was really really fast building it up it wasn't that that hard it was a little bit fussy and like very for somebody that doesn't construct a lot or like build things it was a little bit complicated but i'm pretty sure like somebody else would be like it was really really easy now let's stop talking about the greenhouse and let's talk about the plants so this is some cuttings that i was doing i forgot the the plant's name i think it's it, uh, i don't even want to say it because i feel like i'm like offensive people well i know it's offensive the, i think it's called the wandering jewel you're not supposed to say like jewel or something like that it's supposed to be i don't know i don't know i don't know but over here we got my begonia that literally got sunburned and also the new growth so i might need to move her somewhere else more safe i noticed that all the plants on the floor are really really good so that's really really good look at this hopeful dendron is pushing out a new leaf this one has always been like that she's always had issues with me i don't know why what is her problem but she doesn't she doesn't like me this one got sunburned i don't know where or from where because i saw it last time when I was in the in the greenhouse, so I don't know what is going on. Oh my god, look at that leaf, you guys. <gasps> my Prince of Orange. It's beautiful. My Monstera Delicioso cutting. For some reason, the airwood is pushing, like, on top. <laughs> Interesting. Also, one of my poly elephant ears. Oh, Alocasia aglomenia. Um, I killed it. <laughs> And then it ended up pushing this leaf and then this leaf as well. And now it's pushing out more leaves. And this girly just popped up out of nowhere. And that is so exciting and I'm so happy for her. These are my silver blue cuttings that I was, well, I am propagating. I've done a lot. The way I propagate my um, philodendrons and my potos is I cut them from the nodes. So each leaf is literally like its own plant when I propagate it. And I like, I like that method because it makes it into a more a bushy plant. And also, you can make more plants and just make it more bushy. Like, you know, yeah, who doesn't want a bushy philodendron or potos? It, the, the only down thing about it is that it does take a little bit longer than as if you do it with the stems because it needs to, like, you know, develop more leaves and more roots and all that good stuff. But look at that new growth, you guys. It's insane. I love it. This is some golden potos that I was propagating. I think I was propagating this girly, ooh, like three days ago. And I feel like she's done her thing because like it's like sturdy, so that's a good sign. Um, my piece of leaf that I killed uh, in winter, so last year, has pushed out new growth, which is so, so insane. This beautiful Maranta did not get sunburned, so that's really, really good. This is my chair that I'm using to just like sit. <laughs> you guys, look at this little pitcher plant. It did like, it did not have any like pictures. And now because it's outside in a greenhouse, it has done so, so good. It's developing pictures like nobody's business. It's just some um, Brazil <laughs> philodendron cuttings that I'm also propagating. Croton, Zingonians, kangaroo fern. Oh, also, so I was experimenting before I did anything else, like on the super blue cuttings. And as you guys can see, this was my first experiment. And as you guys can see, it is so, so bushy. It is starting to like cascade and it's so exciting. Look at the air root. That's how you know it's humid inside, because like, if not, she would have been brown. But oh my god. I'm just so proud of it. It's doing so, so good. And soon this early would just be like this one. Super exciting. Here's some more super blue cuttings. I have a lot of super blue cuttings. This is my uh, um, this is my aluminum plant that was not doing so good. Ugh, I don't know. Dumb cane. 
a pilea that is supposedly really really rare but she's really hard to look after oh my fellow benjamin mikens thank god she didn't got burned because i would have cried like crazy um my pineapple plants spider plants neon potos brazil marantas begonia i think it's called strawberry begonia monstrosa cactus Poya compacta my picture plants this is my boyfriend's and this is mine and that looks like an old leaf i hope Oof. i mean it has pictures of them too so that's really exciting a new hoya that i bought we love coastal farms a heart green leaf philodendron oh there's a japanese spider We're gonna give her some privacy. A fern that I regret buying because she's really, really like difficult to look after. My variegated lipstick plant that I adore so much. Oh, I just love the variegation. And this a big girly. Um, creeping purple heart. Cool. So I'm gonna do a lot of propagations on this one soon. And I might do a video, I might not, I'm not that sure. I just love how like it has like so much glitter, like a glitter effect. I'm pretty sure that's not how you call it, but that's how it looks to me. And the back of the leaves are so purple, so beautiful. Dumb cane, azizi plant, Rhytus nicolentia, prayer plant, Maranta, the red kind, my other prayer plant. Yeah, so so far so good. A lot of plants are not that bad as I was expecting like I was expecting like a lot of damage but looking at it now everything looks pretty pretty good I just gotta adjust some plants that you know do not need a lot of light these are some strawberry begonias that I'm propagating as well a uh, swiss cheese plant that I'm also propagating aka um, Arizona wind jet pepperonia that really shockingly did not get sunburned. Like, I'm really, really shocked. It was a little bit of a cloudy day yesterday, so I'm still not sure. I think this one's just giving me anxiety. Like, I'm looking at all the better foliage, and it looks really, really bad. We're gonna put it on the bottom, where the light is a little bit diluted. <gasps> look, she's pushing out a new leaf. I'm gonna go look at this one. Some Maranta cuttings. I love my watermelon pepperoni. This one is like a little bit fuzzy. Oh, okay, girl. No, man. No. Let's make a little hole and stick it back in there because, like, you need to be covered. Brazil, though, she's doing so good. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you would like to see any specific video of the greenhouse, let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.